Hello again. It's time for another haul video here on the Bourbon Blend. My name is Jay. This is my wife, Courtney. We've been together 75 years, and we're really glad to be reviewing bourbon today. We're going to take a look at uh, some footage brought to us by our friend Chris and Becky from across the street, who were at Frisky Whiskey. Oh, the Frisky in Whiskey. In East Point, Georgia, or West nice. Point, Georgia, depending on where you're from. <laughs> If you're under Georgia, it would be the other side of the state, but really It'd it's be just Northwest on the... Point. Northwest Point. <laughs> Excellent. You're a real mapper. You're like Vasco da Gama. I bourbon. Am. Let's go ahead and uh, check let's this go ahead out. and take out take a look at the video here from the Frisky Whiskey in. Oh, look at that! Look West at those Point, happy Georgia. Frisky Whiskies. All right, so we're starting off with the 1792, which mm -hmm. is a solid pour at thirty dollars for a fifth. That's a good price. Look at that big fatty of that 1792. Yeah, 62 bucks for a handle of that stuff. You can't really go wrong with that. Also, mm -hmm. four roses were coming across there. Let's see, 52 for the single barrel, 37 for the small batch, and 63 for the small batch select. A little high on the small batch select, right? But not um, bad. I'm going to pick up that single barrel if I have something so far. That would be what I would pick up. We do have the four roses, uh, the all 10 uh, yeasties and... Uh, Yes, we do. Mash bills would be mm -hmm. pretty cool. There's your favorite, Courtney Jefferson's. Not at all. Thirty-five dollar for Not the regular, all. sixty-five for the reserve. And the most expensive that is something you should not spend your money on. Eighty-six bucks for the ocean aged at sea. Not worth it. Sorry. I had some that was gifted to me, and I thought it was tasty, but I, I love the idea of it, and I really wanted to enjoy it, but I thought it was a waste of money. That is bottled, by the way, in Lagrange, Kentucky. If you're interested, I'm just being for real. Uh, Maker's Mark cast strength at forty six. I'm I'm good with that. That's a that's a tasty bourbon. I, I like the one on one though. Yeah, that's good. Woodenville, we've not had that. Not I had would that like to try some of that. And this looks like a good opportunity to grab some of that. Honestly, Daddy Rack, Tennessee. No, I'm uh, good. Here comes some of my good old faithfuls right here. Some of the old Forester Whiskey Rose uh, at the usual price points: forty seven, fifty four, sixty, and probably high sixty for for... five. Oh, that's a little bit high. I will say on that. The old fine whiskey is going to be an every day. The pro hip style is going to be one I'm going to when I want to get lit. Yeah, pro hip <laughs> is, is hot and hot and heavy. It is Jack good. Daniels single barrel select. A lot of people have been kind of excited about that one lately. I feel like Jack Daniels really hit a home run with that one. Uh, we have not had those because we're kind of anti Tennessee whiskey, but I would I would drink that I think at fifty bucks. That's, that's so not what's bad. missing here? I'm trying to see. Oh, Jack Daniels. Uh, bonded. Bonded. Okay. Yeah, they're one hundred gotcha. bonded. Uh, um, look 36 at that fatty 50, Woodford Reserve. That's pretty 70 cool. 70 for the Woodford Reserve. Halfy. You got some double oak. Double oak at 60, which is a fair price, totally. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have not really messed with these green, blue, and red uh, Woodfords. I'm not going to go for the rye. No rye, no malted. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Uh, Elijah Craig. Uh, good, solid bourbon. It's good every day. For the price. Uh, 32 for the regular. 63 for a handle. Not bad. You know, I am. Uh, I have never had their rye. I, I know I've never had their rye. I need to taste that. Uh, Angel's Envy from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. $51 yes, is. is a fair price, I think, for that. That seems like it would be right in your wheelhouse because it's finished. It's a finished bourbon. You know, I need to taste it again. Wine. It's been a while it since a I've while. had it, so it's probably a good opportunity. I need to find that and taste it again. Maybe your uh, palate is more refined now after True, having it's been a while. 37 gallons of bourbon poured down your throat <laughs> since the last time you had that. Russell's Reserve, a uh, single barrel, very similar to what we were having tonight uh, at 57 bucks, probably a little higher. We paid, yeah, it's a slightly different version of what we've been drinking. Long Branch, of course, another wild turkey. That's the Matthew McConaughey uh, partnership I there. Love him. It's an okay bourbon. I thought it was okay, yeah. Yeah. Little Knob Creek action here. Knob Creek is another bourbon that is really, really good I don't good think for the I've price. ever seen that big fatty right there of Knob Creek. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, that rye is somewhat new. And, uh, yeah, that, that half gallon there, the nine, is nothing new, but I it's good. I will tell you right now, I see something with a pink label I would not touch. Basil Hayden like dark, dark rye? Dark rye and Basil Hayden? Nope, not me. Legion. I do see something on the end that you would pick up. Legion does not get any love at all. It, it's good. It's, now, a, I mean, it's a bean product, it's, and it's good. It's a bean product, but it has uh, Japanese ties. Yeah, right? it's, it's like, like a, a Japanese it's mixed. whiskey. Yeah, but it doesn't have that overwhelming nuttiness that you would it's normally good. expect from it bean stuff. So I, I like Legion. I like Legion at that price point. Oh, we got good old Faithfuls down here. Some Jim Beam. Yeah, some Jim Beam stuff here at reasonable prices, which you would expect from Jim Beam. Uh, we had one little hanger up there, which is the Legion, and then now this is all Beam right here. 
Uh, listen, man, we trick a lot of Jim Beam. We're down in the Caribbean because it's kind of like it's either that's what they've got. Jack Daniels or Jim Beam. <laughs> we ain't drinking Jack Daniels, so yep. we uh, hit that Jim Beam. Wild Turkey. There's a handle right there for forty eight. You could probably get that cheaper at Costco, but whatever. And then there's the uh, we actually have this one right now. Wild Turkey 101, 375, 25 bucks right there. We paid a little bit less than that today. There's your standard Wild Turkey, a halfie of that. Tin Cup, which we were drinking at Tipping Point last week. It's okay. It's a little thin and it's very sweet. I, I thought it was fine. It's probably not something that I would go after. Yeah. But it, it's good and the prices here are fine. Not interested in any Jack Daniels. Yeah, it's just not something that we're going to probably mess with yeah. too much. Um, we're from Kentucky. I'm from, and I was born in Louisville. It, she's born in Louisville. Man. It is an old Forster product. It is I'm indeed. Sorry, now no. we're talking. Oh, some seagrass there. That's one of Jay's Well, let me favorites. start off with the 291. We had some of this. A friend of ours, Easterwood, gifted us some of this 291, the gold label. And it's Boy, it's we tried. Okay. We and tried. It, it, I, it's okay. We it was tried. just was not my favorite. Not my favorite. We tried. Uh, I, was actually, I do like the seagrass. Oh, you're just being positive. I'm just moving along because I do like the seagrass. Yes. Uh, um, we need to try. We need to try these products on here because we have several of these. Did we have barrel uh, like a month ago or five? Not six on weeks here. Ago? Not on this show. Oh, well, we got a lot of barrels. We have in the a house. lot of those, so we should probably try that next. Uh, all three of these, I think, are amazing. Yes. Um, I probably would take seagrass one, Armida two, Dovetail three, but you can't go it's wrong really with any of these, honestly. Blended guys there. Little I.W. Harper action. We yes. have that 12-year, uh, 15-year, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, we paid about that, honestly. Yeah. Uh, no, I paid uh, $80 for that. You do it for the decanter, though, really. Yes, it's I did, good. for it's, sure. It's, an, it's okay. It's, it's sweet and thin. I thought at 15 years it would taste a little different. There's your blade and bow. That's always a good one. You see there's already one gone, though. Yes. $52 is a little bit high, like 5 bucks too high for me, but I'd take it. All right. Michter's uh, in the 50 range. Michter's is solid. Yeah. They have a great... Um, if you are a first-time bourbon drinker, the American whiskey is what you... Well, it's not bourbon, but you should try that first. That is a good introductory whiskey. I, I agree completely. Yes. Don't do... Basil Hayden, do that instead. Do that instead. It's a good introductory, like, okay, everybody talks about bourbon. Let me try this stuff and see if I like it. That would be a good one. A little whistle pig action, some rise right there, a 10 year for 85, the smoke stock for 73. I actually gave a bottle of smoke stock to one of my friends uh, on the coaching staff at Auburn, and he really liked that. Really? Was, yeah, he really enjoyed that. He's a, he's a whistle pig fan. And I'm the, going back in on this. This is Russell their actual uh, whistle pig now has an actual bourbon right there. You can see it, the six year piggy bag. Oh, I don't think we haven't had that yet. No. We kind of avoided it a little bit. Fiddler out of Atlanta. Um, so I've been to that actual distillery. Um, it's okay. It, it, it's fine for what it is. They're getting there. So you also got here Redwood Empire, which I believe spends some of their money on building trees or plant. I shouldn't say building trees, planting trees, <laughs> replanting trees in areas that have been deforested up there in, in California, which is really, really cool. Uh, Amador, I'd like to have some of that. Uh, the Blue Note, you guys know we're fans of that big time. Uh, it's sad that you can't get the Blue Note 9 anymore, although we have a nice stash of it. I knew it was going yeah. away. I got a tip that it was going away. If they ever get that nine-year back out, I am all in on that. Pursuit United is a bottle that I absolutely adore. We have a hard time finding that in the state of Alabama. Yes. Uh, this is actually in the, over the Georgia state line. and it's, You would have picked that up if you saw it. Yes, sure. at 56 $57. That is an amazing bottle of whiskey right there. Again, Araya, I'd probably pass on that one. Yeah, probably. Uh, Stranahan's, I haven't had it yet, but I am looking forward to it at 45 bucks. I would probably hit that if I was. I would try area. that. I uh, don't know much about company. Yellowstone at 11 in Kentucky, where my dad's from, 34 bucks for their basic. You usually have to get something upgraded at Yellowstone because it doesn't have a hard enough hit, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, and then I'm... the rabbit hole? Rabbit hole is one that... Um, I probably need to try the high gold again. It's been a while again, so I need to try that again. And so I know we have Cave Hill at our house because we will always have a bottle of that at our house. Um, but um, I'd try the high gold again. Yeah, Cave Hill's named after a, well, Rabbit Hole's out of Louisville. Correct. And uh, Cave Hill is a famous cemetery 
in Louisville. Beautiful. Where we're going to be buried someday. Yeah. I hate to get morbid, but uh, that's true. And we do always have a bottle of cave yes. hill around us. We have a lot of we have a lot of friends and family. We have a lot of a lot of a lot of folks up in there. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. <laughs> we know a lot of people that are in. A cave lot of hill. people up in there. Uh, ten cup rye. Yeah, Wouldn't pick it up. That. I'm not much of a rye fan. There are some people out there that just love rye and not me. Heaven's Door is definitely gaining some popularity. I'd like to try some of that. Uh, Uncle Nearest. We see these a lot at 52 and at 52 to 55 range. and I, That's fair. Isn't that the Nulu that we picked up when we were in Auburn? Yes. Uh, yes. We paid about 85 for that. Yes. And it's 70 here. So. Uh, of course. But we, paid, we, we, paid, we got that at Grub Mart. It was a little more expensive. Grub Mart, you expect it. Uh, the all, Nulu we, that we bought. We also we bought got two, it there, too. Man, we got we another got, one, yes. We got a different bottle there. We got the Red Top bottle at Bottle Shop, which is freaking delicious, by the way. I would pay Nulu's it Nulu's good. Yeah, Nulu's good. It's just MGP, but it, it seems like the blend or something is better. Their blends that, that they do are really good. I would definitely take the silver over the bronze there. I'm not familiar with this brand. I don't Laws. know anything about Laws. I don't know Laws. much about that one, Cordy. That looks like a new one. I don't know. That's some pricey stuff there. I don't Old know Soul out of Mississippi right there. We know those guys pretty yes, good. Yes, we do. Uh, not sure I would pay 46 for the regular, but if you get the 109 proof, the blue mm -hmm. label, it's That's really, good. really good. Yeah. Uh, Stellum is good. Stellum is a offshoot of Barrel. Oh, really? Yeah. That, they mm -hmm. intended that to be like their everyday Barrel. Well, it comes in a wine bottle, so that's why you probably want to pick it up. So I, I definitely want to try some of that. I was reading about that the other day. Uh, Reservoir, I don't know much about that. A little high for something I wouldn't know. 85, 86, 87 Yeah, it seems bucks. like a know. lot. There's that short barrel mm -hmm. uh, that we were talking about trying to get our hands on. The yes. only place we've seen it was at, well, it was at Larry's behind the, behind the desk. Well, I would, I would, I would pick up this um, toasted one here. Yes, yeah, the toasted 101? Yeah, I'd pick that up. All right, I, that would have been the one we grabbed from this yeah. one if we could have. Uh, Clyde Mays, which is technically an Alabama bourbon, but it's actually juice from somewhere else. John Emerald, which is out of uh, Opelika. Yes. Solid stuff. A little thin, but it's good. And then some Wilderness Trail here, which is always good. Out of Danville, mm -hmm. Kentucky. Correct. That green bottle, is it sideways? Yeah, it is sideways. Oh, it looks okay. A little yeah, different. it's just turned sideways. It looks yeah. a little different. Courtney's played a bunch of field hockey games in uh, Danville, Kentucky. <laughs> I have. <laughs> and then Cuz, just for fun, and I'm... I, I'm this is a fast one here. This is, a, uh, this is the bottom level here. But Evan bottom Williams of the barrel. is pretty good, man. Yeah. If you ever like really don't have a lot of money, and you got to go bottom shelf, get Evan Williams. I agree. I, I think that's fair. Well, that's seventeen eighty three Evan Williams. I would probably get on the bottom shelf. We're gonna have to do mm -hmm. a show like that one of these We've days. We've already talked about that. We will be oh, doing you have? that. Flatboat. We got sold on some of that at uh, Total Wine and uh, Rural right. Soco. I'm not interested in that so much. Very mm -hmm. very sweet. We do like certain kinds of dickle, but this isn't bottom shelf at 45 bucks. That's too yeah, much. Yeah, that is a lot to be on the bottom shelf. Great shooting on this, cuz. You did a great job on this. Yes. Healing station on the bottom shelf. Wow. See, I'm, I was never impressed with that, but really? I kind of liked it. You have yeah. a black label healing station. It's pretty damn good. I don't know. And there's some basic four roses as well. Oh, one bottom shelf. We still got another bottom oh, shelf. Oh, that's because it wasn't the bottom <laughs> shelf. That's why. Ten high, old What is pro? ten high? I've never even heard that. Oh, yeah, that's exactly. that is where Rowan's Creek and Noah's Mill belong. Exactly. These people know their stuff. <laughs> J.W. Dan. Uh, it belongs next to the $22 bourbon. <laughs> the white label Heaven Hill looks like Henry McKenna bottom shelf. <laughs> Kentucky Gold. What is that? Green Evan Williams. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. Ouch. Much. And then Evan Williams, honey, apple, peach. This is, well, freeze here for a second. This is how you get people into liking bourbon. Because they give this little flavor to it. And these people that are not familiar with bourbon are like, you know what? I can try that. I love peach. I love apple flavored liquor. I love peach too. So, yes. Little Rebel 100 there at the bottom. Not the, not the good Rebel 100, but the bottom. There's Rebel that Kentucky 100. Gentleman. Kentucky Gentleman. Her Look dad used to drink that all the time. Look at that. $16, baby. $16 for a handle that's been aged at, nice. least, six, at least six months. <laughs> at least six weeks. <laughs> no doubt some Ragged Branch and Early Times to wrap it up. Also the Ezra Brooks 99. There it is. Nice. The Frisky Whiskey. The Frisky Whiskey. whiskey. Uh, Y'all check it out. In greater. I had some good deals there. I would take nah, it. I'm definitely some, some sensible pricing. So. Yep. Hey, that's what we're here for. That's right. uh, I want to give a big thanks to Cousin Bex for uh, getting us that footage. That's right. Uh, through the trip through we like uh, the frisky whiskey. East Point or West Point. We will Georgia. be traveling by the frisky whiskey tomorrow. Maybe we'll have to stop in. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching our show. 
Another uh, video will be coming up before too long. We're going to be in Los Angeles, I think. Mm -hmm. See if we can find some See stuff See what happens out there. in California for so bourbon. On the West Coast. So thanks for watching. Like